Hello, this is Chris with the Dallas Theological Seminary Media Center. Today I'd like to walk you through transitions inside the Keynote software. Let me open up Keynote to begin with. I have created three different slides with a black background and a few basic shapes. Let me show you what I have. In my first slide, I have a small triangle. Second one, I've got a larger triangle. And in the third one, I have three separate triangles. Now let me show you what this would look like with no transitions. A transition is how Keynote moves from one slide to the next. Let me go ahead and hit the play button and show you what this is going to look like with no transitions. You have your first triangle. I'm gonna press the over key. It just moves blips to your second press it again and it blips to your third. And that's fine. However, sometimes it can be a little sudden or abrupt and you might want something that will a little more smoothly transition between. To begin a transition, you want to click on the slide that your transition will start from. In other words, slide number one. I'm going to go over here to the right side and under the animate pane, you will see transitions here. Now let me show you something briefly before we move forward. If you click on an object, you will see this change from a transition to an effect. That's because transitions operate from the slide level, in other words, slide number one to slide number two. Effects operate inside a slide on individual objects or text boxes. So if you click on an object, you'll see the effect options here. If you click on the whole slide, you'll see the transition effects. All right, let me go ahead and add an effect here. One of my favorite effects inside Keynote is the magic move effect. And let me show you why this is the neatest effect. Magic move is kind of a one size fits all transition. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button. What magic move does is it takes any object inside one slide and will move it into its position in the next slide in a seamless transition. So I'm going to hit the over key and show you what this would look like. There you go. It's taken that one slide from before and stretched it into the second slide. Now I only have one transition. You'll notice in the bottom right corner, you see this little triangle here. That is an indication that you have a transition that you've applied to this slide. If I hit the undo button by holding command and pressing Z, you'll see that little triangle disappear. That means the magic move transition was removed. However, I want to use it again, so I'm going to click magic move. You'll notice if you watched the previous video on animations and how those work, you still have the same duration options. So I'm going to keep the duration at about two seconds because that's a good amount. And I'd also like to add a magic move to this as well. So let me go ahead and show you what the magic move looks like. So I have a small triangle. It's going to stretch it out into a larger triangle. There we go. And then if I hit the magic move again, it's going to take this shared object and move it once again. This is a really neat transition, and it's kind of a one-size-fits-all in terms of if you have any object that's shared between one slide and another, Magic Move will automatically move you between those. But Magic Move is not the only transition we have. So let me go ahead and remove these two transitions. I did that by holding the Command key and pressing Z twice. That's the Undo button. I'm going to move back to the first slide by clicking over here. And let me see if I can add an effect. Let's see. What transition do I want? Let's use the clothesline option here. And again, what the transition is doing is it's taking you from one slide to the next via a series of different movements. And if you have any options in terms of the duration and in terms of the direction, you'll find those right over here. So I'm going to preview by clicking the preview button. There we go. And I'm going to add the same clothesline effect to the next slide by clicking on slide number two, by coming over here to add an effect. 
and adding the clothesline effect. It's kind of a neat effect. My recommendation in general, however, is don't go overboard with these transitions. Most of the time, if you're using more than four or five transitions inside one presentation, it just comes to look a little cheap or annoying. Transitions can be helpful to add emphasis, clarity, or to add a little bit of class to a presentation. So don't overdo it. But you will notice inside Keynote, you have a number of options here. And again, as always, my recommendation is play around with these, see what they look like, but use restraint when you apply them. So this has been a basic introduction to transitions. Again, a transition brings you from one slide to the next, and you can find these under the Animate pane, and you can add a transition by clicking on a slide over here, or here, and clicking Add an Effect. Thank you very much.